Hi, I am going to discuss binomial distribution by using an example. I put five chocolates inside a cup. Two blue, two green, one pink. I close my eyes, mix the chocolates and draw one chocolate at random from the cup. What is the probability of drawing a blue chocolate? Since there are total of five chocolates and two of them blue, then probability of drawing a blue chocolate will be 2 over 5. So what is the probability of drawing a chocolate that is not blue? So it means it is green or pink. Okay. Since there are total of 5 chocolates and 3 of them are not blue, then probability of not drawing a blue chocolate will be 3 over 5. Let's say I like blue chocolates more than green or pink chocolates. Therefore, drawing a blue chocolate will be a success for me. But drawing a green or pink chocolates will be a failure for me. When I draw a chocolate, there will be two possible outcomes. Blue or not blue, or in another word, success or failure. Let's say I close my eyes and mix it and draw three times at random with replacement. So first try, let's say I get pink. So this is failure. So I put it back and I draw again. Let's say this time I get green. Then I, this is failure also. I put it back. Then I mix again. And third time, let's say I draw blue. So this is a success for me. Question. Create a theoretical probability distribution for the number of the blue chocolates. As I stated before, the probability of getting a blue chocolate will be success. The success is denoted by P. P equal 2 over 5 equals 0 0.4. The probability of not getting a blue chocolate will be failure. The failure is denoted by Q. Q equal 3 or 5 equals 0 0.6. Since there are only two possible outcomes for each trial, either success or failure, the sum of probabilities of the success and the failure equals to 1. P plus Q equal 1. I draw three chocolates at random with replacement. I want to calculate the probabilities of zero success and three failures, one success and two failures, two success and one failure, three successes and zero failure. I have to emphasize this. After drawing a chocolate, I must put it back into the cup. In a binomial distribution, the probability of success and the probability of the failure must remain constant from trial to trial. The trials must be independent of each other. This is the formula for binomial distribution. Okay, P at X means probability of X success in an independent trials. This is the coefficient of the formula, basically combination formula. So n choose x. So n is number of trials, x is number of success. So some statistics books writes this way, but same thing. So most uh, calculator has this function, you can just enter. But if you don't have this function, you can also use this formula. This is n factorial over n minus x factorial, x factorial. Basically, this combination formula, n number of combinations of x success from n trials. So, for in our example, we calculated before probability of success is 0 0.4. Basically, probability of getting blue chocolates so q is probability of failure probability of not getting blue chocolates we can also use this formula 
So n is number of trials. So in our example, we try three try three times. X is number of success. When I substitute the values p equals 0.4, q equals 0.6, n equal 3 into this formula, I get this formula. Okay, for x equals 0 means 0 success. So 0 blue chocolate, 3 non blue chocolate. To get this, this is the probability. Okay, so x equal 1. Probability of one success, it means one blue, two non-blue chocolates. This is the probability. Okay, for x equal two, probability of two successes means two blue, one non-blue chocolates. So this is the probability. So x equal three, so probability of three successes, it means three blue chocolates and zero non-blue chocolates this is the uh, probability so when i add all those number i get one because there is no another choice so total probability must equal to one the result is summarized in this table let's say i forget the formula for the binomial distribution can i still solve this problem without using the formula my answer is yes Okay, those are the possible cases. So, first case is zero success, three failure. So, Q, 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 as you know, Q is 0 0.6, 3, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So, we get this one. Basically, three choose one. Another case, one success, two failures. So, as you can see, blue, blue is successes. So, only... Uh, only the order is different so 3 choose 1 so 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.4 so we write same number but order is different we get 0 14 so we have three of them so we get this <coughs> and other cases two successes one failure this case two blue pp so there are two p one q but order is different so 3 choose 2 this time 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So only order difference. So we get this number. So we multiply by 3. So last cases, PPP, all of them success. So 3 choose 3. So 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. We get this number. So when we add all these number again, we get 1. But this method is difficult for large number of trials. It means if n is large, it is difficult to use this method.